What's up guys? It's your girl Sin Marie and I'm back with another video. Hope you guys are having a good day today. Thank you for clicking on my video. Please subscribe if you haven't. If you've been rocking with your girl, what is up? And I appreciate all of the support. Okay guys, so by the thumbnail, you already know what you came to see. You came to see five things that you need to consider and know before starting your YouTube channel. I know I'm a small YouTuber, but these are some of the things that I have started doing and it's helping my channel grow, grow, grow. So if you want your channel to grow, 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 stay tuned. Stay with your girl. Hold on. Here you go. Guys, number one, have video ideas. And what I mean about that is write your video ideas down. If you want to do a week straight, go ahead and do five to seven videos. Go ahead and write it down and have it planned out so it's easier for you to go day to day doing your videos instead of having to think about what should I do today because you'll already have it written down. Because when you do that, when you just go day to day, you may spend half of the day wondering what should you do or asking other people, what should you do? Go ahead and write your ideas down. That way you know what you're going to be doing. If you need things to go along with your video, you can already have those things set up and put aside for that day. It, y'all, it's so much easier to go ahead and just plan your videos out. Have them already written out, written down. It helps to me. That's my opinion. It just really helps me stay more organized because I also have a life outside of here. So I have to write it down because, I mean, you know, I have kids and everything. I have to write it down. So, yes, and I have my handy dandy notebook because I get sidetracked. I get over all over the place sometimes. So, all right, guys. So, number two. You need to have a business email. And the reason I say that is because you never know who's trying to contact you out here in the social media world on the platform. It could be a business inquiry for your YouTube. It could be a collaboration. It could be a sponsor. It could be anything. And the best thing for you to do is go ahead and have your business email. You don't want them commenting upon your comments for everyone to see what's going on. And you know, what if you don't check your social media DMs and messages all the time? You know, get a business email. That way it looks more professional. It's there. It's going to stay there. You can communicate better back and forth that way. Get your business email. Put it down in your description so that, so that way when they're looking to find, I mean, to contact you, they can just go in your description and see your email address, your business email address that's specifically for your YouTube channel. Okay, guys, so number three, I, let me tell you, it's been a couple of my videos that have been demonetized or not allowed to be monetized because of the copywritten music. Make sure you do not put copywritten music in your videos. I know when my daughter had her channel, well, I still have her channel, but when I was first starting on her channel, it used to be 30 seconds that you can play music of someone else. Someone else meaning someone that's like in the music. Say, say you want to use Beyonce song. You have 30 seconds to play that song before they say you cannot get money for this video. This money goes to Beyonce. So now I've noticed that it's more like nine seconds. You have nine seconds to play a song. And then after that, they're going to send you a thing saying if you have a copyright claim, all your material will be sent to the person that the music belongs to. And y'all know we work too hard to let that happen to us. We work too hard to let someone be able to come and steal our content, make money off our content, because we're using someone else's music longer than the time allowed. There are different apps and things that you can use to do your music. Just make sure it says non-copywritten music. Some things that you, and also inappropriate things will get you demonetized. It won't, it's just different things. There's different signs. Okay, so once you get to the point to where you're able to monetize your videos, it will have a green dollar sign. And I'll put it on the screen so you guys can see. It'll be a green money sign. That means that your videos are eligible to have ads put on them and you're able to collect revenue from those videos. That's what you want to see by all your videos is that green dollar sign, honey. That means the coins are yours and the coins are coming and 
They're your coins. You ain't sharing no coins with nobody else on YouTube. Those are your coins. Except for YouTube, get their percentage. But other than that, those are your coins. And then another one is the yellow. The yellow means that it's limited, which means it's not all the way approved, but it's it's enough to get you um, a little income, a little income. You're not going to get the same income that you would get if you had the green dollar sign. No. But you'll get something, but it's not going to be much. But it's still allowing you to do so. So just be careful with that, guys. And then if you get the black dollar sign, that means you got a copy. You copywritten. We ain't going for it. No. No. All your money is going somewhere else. You're not going to see a dime of that money. Now, I can't tell you this. Sometimes, if you feel like there's no reason for your content to be limited, there's no reason for your content to be, like, totally blocked out, you can file a claim. It takes, I think, about 30 to 60 days or maybe even more, maybe even 90 days, and you're able to explain why you feel that it isn't copyright material. And then they'll review it, and if they say, okay, well, we made a mistake, it wasn't as bad as we thought, they'll let you monetize videos. Or they can say, no, boo, this is what it is. This is right. You're not, no. It's just, just take a chance on it, guys. I mean, but just be very careful. They don't play about that copywritten music. There's different apps and things you can go on to get non-copywritten music. YouTube has non-copywritten music. Just be very careful with that because we work too hard to come up with these videos produce these videos, edit these videos with the thumbnails to, for them to tell us somebody getting our money? Uh-uh. No. <laughs> okay, guys, so number four is be consistent. When I first started YouTube, I uploaded my video, just so excited, and then I did upload for like three weeks. It's like, why would you even upload a video if you weren't going to do nothing else? And you know why? That goes back to number one. I didn't write it down. I'm back and forth on what I should do. Nah, I should do it. No. Back and forth, back and forth with that. That's one of the reasons why I didn't stay consistent. But you have to stay consistent. Try to post every day if you can or every other day. Some people post multiple videos in one day. Go ahead. I salute you guys. You're doing good. I haven't got that for yet. But you have to stay consistent. Even though you don't see views, even though you post video and you get one or two views and you're like, man, I don't know about this. Keep posting videos because once YouTube see that you're posting and you're posting and you're consistent and you're consistent, they watching. They be like, oh, okay. Well, I see that she or he, they really trying to do this because they're posting every day. They're being consistent. Even though they're getting two, three, ten views. Stay consistent. As you can see, my channel does not get that many views. But the reason why I keep going is because my daughter has a YouTube channel. And I worked my behind off for two years on her channel. And her channel is finally blowing up, y'all. <laughs> we got our Google AdSense pen. And baby, we're making money. That's how I know. If I hadn't kept going with her channel, I wouldn't be sitting right here right now talking to y'all because I'll be like, I can't do this. None of my views are going up. So I'm like, what do I do? Stay consistent. Don't give up. Even if you just like, oh my God. Every time you go on your on your um YouTube desktop or you on the YouTube studio and you see a few views, y'all just keep posting videos, guys. Just keep doing it. Just keep doing it. Keep, keep doing it. Okay, y'all, and number five is be confident. Be confident. When you get on here, don't feel like you're talking to yourself because you're actually talking to people that just don't know it at that time. And you <laughs> but be, be, be confident, guys. When you get on here, talk like you're talking to somebody because you really are. They're just not in front of you right now. You, you are, you know. Be confident. When you get on here, be like, what's up, guys? It's your girl, Tim Marie, and I'm back with another video. Stuff like that. Don't be like, what's up, guys? It's your girl, Tim Marie, and I'm back with another video. No, boo. Be like, what's up, guys? It's your girl. 
like that because when they click on you click on your video and you like this what's up they're gonna be like okay let's see what she got to talk about they click on your video what's up guys it's your girl Queen Marie. they're not gonna feel confident in you because you talking like that they're gonna be like hold on is she even confident in what she's saying not saying that when a person go, what's up? They got it going on, but it catches people attention. You don't want nobody to be like, um, mm-mm, next. You want them to be like, okay, let me see what she got to say, boo, because she came on here strong, baby. Let's see if she deliver strong. That's what they like. That's what they like. You know, you watch YouTube, you know what you like and what you don't like. You know that, like for me. I like, when I watch a video, I like for it to come right on to you and what I came to see. Now, I know sometimes on mine, I talk a little bit first, then go. But people want to come on here to see what they come to see. They ain't trying to hear all that other stuff. They came here to hear the main topic. They come they come to hear what your thumbnail and your title saying. So, they don't want to hear all that. So, you need to come with it quick. I'm like, I'm like come on. Do I need to fast forward? I don't want to do that because I'm a YouTuber and I know how it is. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to give this a chance. What? Excuse me, sir. Give me what I came for. Give me what I came for now. Give me what I came for. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I'm going to go over it again. Have video ideas. Make sure you have plenty, plenty video ideas. Get your business email. You have to get that business email because you never know who's going to contact you and say, girl, I want you to sponsor this. Can you put this on for me? Or it could be a fan or, or a, a viewer or somebody. You need to have that so they can contact you because that's extra coins. You got to be about them coins, okay? Another thing is copyright music. Be very careful about what you put in your videos because we work too hard for somebody to come and snatch up what we did. We don't want that. So be careful, mindful before you go and just put all that music in there. Put all the, uh, just be careful. It's best not even do it until you really understand how YouTube works. Okay, be consistent, 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 consistent. Like I told you, number one will help you be consistent. If you go ahead and write it down in advance, you know what you're working with. Be very consistent. I don't care if you get five views a week. Be consistent. Grow those videos. Grow the number. Grow the number. Number five, be confident. Be confident. Be confident. You have to present yourself as being confident for someone to believe what you're saying. You have to deliver with confidence. You have to make them believe that you know what you're talking about. Okay? So they can come back for more because if they go to your channel, you can really have some real good content. But if you're not talking confident, they're not going to come back to your channel anymore. They're not even going to give a chance. They're not even going to give a chance to hear what you have to say. So be confident and also know what you're saying. Don't just be confident and not saying the right stuff. Be confident and know what you're saying, guys. Okay, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed to your girl, what are you doing? Come on, join the patty group, the patty group, baby. I do all types of stuff on my channel. I do, man, I'm... I do story time, I do teas, I do detox, I do waist trainers, I do YouTube things. It's just, I'm just, this channel is a lot. And if you email me or if you contact me and say, girl, can you do something like this? I'm going to do it because I love y'all. Y'all or my supporters, y'all support me. And you know what I'm saying? I want to support y'all. If y'all have anything that you would like for me to try on or wear from your business, Give it up, bring it on, baby, because I will wear it. My email address is down below in the description. Hit your girl up. Maybe we can collab if you're in Florida or I can go where you are. We trying to build this thing up, baby, okay? So make sure you guys be consistent. That's what I like to say because I'm just, that's just, that's important, guys. Being consistent is very important. But anyways, guys, I love you guys. Until next time, Tim Marie is out.